guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is diana and if you do know me you might be surprised to know that i don't live in my bathroom and i hope the lighting in here is better than uh than that washroom because that that was horrendous but anyway i am here today with a new way to style my hair um i was indeed influenced by tiktok and i ended up getting these conair hot rollers it took me a while to get a bit used to them um number one because i felt like there weren't enough rollers for my hair but the more i practiced the, the more i was able to work with what i was given i really like this way of styling because it took me about 30 minutes and i also didn't have to accidentally burn myself um while doing it so if you're interested to see how i got this result just keep watching so here's my natural hair in all its glory and after letting the roller sit in the little heated box for a while I'm gonna start to brush my hair and once that's done I'm gonna grab my trusty chi heat protectant and then brush once more so now I'm gonna take anything from the top of my ear and back and put it up in a bun so it's just nice and out of the way be sure to have your roller clips handy because otherwise they're just gonna fall right out. Now I'm gonna take, I don't know, what is that, one or two inches of hair and I'm gonna put that over the roller. I'm going to tuck the ends under that and then roll it all the way up. And once you've reached the top, you can finally just clip it in place. And then you just rinse and repeat. Now that that section's done, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new top section by taking anything above like maybe the halfway point of my forehead and putting that out of the way in a bun. Now this mohawk section is where things change up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide the hair into three sections. It may look a little funky, but I'm gonna put the front parts in a little ponytail so that I can see in the mirror. And then I'm actually gonna put that back third of the hair underneath the roller. That means that the ends are facing upwards and they're getting rolled in that way. This is a bit harder and I feel like the roller slip out more this way, but it'll just give you better volume in the back. As you do the same thing on the other two thirds, I would recommend putting two clips per roller. I saw some people recommend that and honestly, it's such a game changer because otherwise they kind of like flop to the left or to the right. Now for the front section, I'm gonna go ahead and part it where I normally would which is in the middle, and I'm gonna take the roller and place it behind that section of hair. And for the ends, I'm gonna roll them in on the outer side of the roller. I'm not sure if that makes much sense, but I really hope the visuals are more helpful than my voice right now. And then I'm just gonna repeat that on the other side. And after letting them sit for a while, it's time to finally unravel them. While the curls are still in ringlet formation, I like to go ahead and spray it with a hairspray just so that they don't lose their bounce when I comb them out. And then finally, I'm going to take a semi-wide tooth comb and brush out those crunchy ringlets. So because the front area was a little flat, it's still a little flat. I'm using dry shampoo. Um, I typically do use one roller up here, but I feel like I like my results more when I use two. I just usually need a bit more lift here after it, that's all. Yeah, this is what we're left with. It's very nice and bouncy. And personally, I feel like 
it's less damaging because you can you can hold it it might not be super pleasant but you know like my fingers aren't burnt <laughs> you know what i mean so therefore i feel like my hair also won't be burnt using something like this versus using like a curler which will fry my skin off and normally what i like to do with this is do my makeup while i wait but i still have quite a few hours left before i leave so i chose not to do that today um but that's also an option i hope you found this video useful i hope you enjoyed it if you like this type of content feel free to subscribe i mostly post hair videos but if y'all have anything else you'd like to see from me just let me know and i'd be happy to go ahead and do that for you so thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one